Good morning, Carlo here. Welcome to the vlog. In today's episode, uh, I will be unboxing the other sneaker, the other Jordan sneaker uh, that I bought from YOLO Manila. So we have a pair that I got for around 2,500, which I unboxed, which I will put on feet. And then we have a pair that I bought slightly above retail, which is a really kick-ass looking Jordan 3. So if you guys are excited, keep on watching let's go but before anything i just want to show you guys how messy our living room is that is the curse of people who do unboxings for a living or at least as a part-time thing you know I mean the house just transforms into some sort of like crazy looking warehouse so yeah i have to clean that later in between meetings that i have uh but yeah that's today's vlog uh, i'm actually heading to the kitchen over here if you missed my uh ref tour vlog make sure to check it out link down below this is the samsung smart ref i'm actually going to check out what i'm supposed to cook uh, for today on our meal planner then i will cook it over there but anyway tara let's go leo say hi to the vlog leo say hi to the vlog hello baby Ito lunch natin guys, so nagmarinate ako ng chicken legs last night, so lulutuin natin siya, and then that will be for our lunch. Okay, so let's get to the unboxing. The first sneaker that I have over here is one of my favorite Jordan silhouettes, and in one of my favorite colors, which is the Jordan 3 Midnight Navy, inspired by the Georgetown Hoyas PE Jordan 3s. Now, if you can take a look at the box, it already matches the color of the shoe, some sort of like Midnight Navy blue. You have the print over here along the side you have the details of the shoe this is in my usual size 13 for Jordan 3s I prefer to go uh, either a half or a full size up for J3s primarily because I want them roomy as I have wide feet if you pop the box open you have that same Jordan 3 yes uh, tissue paper and then whoo -hoo, ba bam guys take a look at it this is the Jordan 3 Midnight Navy. Let's take a closer look, shall we? As you guys can see, you have that tumbled leather here in that Midnight Navy blue color. You have gray for the tongue tab, different accents that matches the color of the elephant elephant, elephant print here at the back and of course here near the mudguard. It's a really nice looking shoe, man. Man, man, man. Jump man logo in the back. You have blue laces that match the color or you can go with the white. I'll probably stick with the white laces because they look so much better with the contrast. Now, the reason why I picked this shoe up, two reasons. Number one, uh, as mentioned earlier, I find that Jordan 3s, especially if you get it the right size, is one of the best Jordans that people like me who have wide fleet, fleet feet, can appreciate and wear regularly. I have a bunch of Jordan 3s, I wear them a lot. It's my favorite Jordan silhouette. Second, I just love the color. Uh, I love the idea of wearing this with like jeans or wearing it with shorts because it just goes really well with the usual like apparel or aesthetic that I rock on the daily. And speaking of apparel, uh, guys, this is the new uh, Project 721 Sneak Attack shirt which will be dropping on April 15. So this will drop together with our hooded sweatshirt as well as our Nuragi jacket and our tactical shorts. So if you guys want to know more, please do follow Project 721 on Instagram. I will link it down below. Our best work yet. Make sure to check it out. Japanese inspired apparel, a capsule collection for the work from home samurai. Panalo. Okay, so going back to the shoe. Uh, yeah, I really like this. Super happy to add it to my collection. Uh, something, you know, I, I think I just realized I bought two Jordan 3s back to back. I bought the cool gray. Now I bought this. And in the last vlog, I mentioned to you guys that I'm super excited about buying the the Amamanie, I don't know how to pronounce it, Jordan 3, the super luxe looking shoe. That one is on my must buy list for 2021. But yeah, super love this. Super excited to wear this and break this in. Now to those who missed the vlog, uh, when I went to YOLO Manila, I also unboxed this. Uh, this is the Shack Attack Reebok, which I got for 2,500 pesos. That's roughly $50, which is like a massive steal. This is also size 13. And it reminds me a lot of Shaquille O'Neal during his um, days with the Orlando Magic. So I was able to put this on feet already. Despite it being used, it is still so comfortable. Of course, I had it cleaned so that it's sanit sanitized and you know safe to wear. Uh, but man, uh, another fun retro sneaker to wear and enjoy. And I'm glad that I was able to get this at such a steal. I mean, seriously, 
2,500 for this, a piece of history. Well, I might be over exaggerating, but yeah, I just love the fact that I was able to get it at a fantastic price. You have that Shaq logo here at the front and here at the back. Really nice shoe. So, shout out to Yolo Manila again for the deals. Guys, that's actually it for the on feet and the unboxing segment of this vlog. Uh, the next part is I'll bring you guys along with me because uh, I am thinking of dropping by and driving around Green Hills because apparently they implemented a new alfresco setup because of the new rules of the lockdown. So, tingnan natin, share my thoughts about it and then we'll probably end the vlog somewhere around there. So guys, we're here in Green Hills, sa V-Mall. So, papakita ko lang sa inyo yung section that they've designated for outdoor dining slash alfresco kasi nga, di ba, uh, bawal na mag-dine in ulit dito sa Pilipinas and or Metro Manila so they're trying to you know cope with it so I'll show you what it looks like wala lang yung mga lamesa but the tents with the lights are here right now so yan yung itsura niya so nakikita niyo yung mga tent na yan lahat yan dine out area or dine in al fresco area wala lang yung mga lamesa siguro pinasok na nila but that's how it would look like so mag zoom in na tayo Ayan, no, kita niyan. Yan yung area na pang dine-in al fresco. Now, obviously, hindi pa lahat ng tao komportable mag-dine-in. Uh, so, suggestion ko lang, if you guys can still support your favorite restaurants, your favorite local businesses, kasi kailangan talaga ng pera. Di ba, babe? So, kahit from... Oh, kahit through delivery. Or takeout. Or takeout. Tama yan. Malaking tulong yan. Maraming livelihood ang nakasalanay. So, if you can support, if you can over-tip pa minsan-minsan, kung kaya ninyo, malaking bagay po yan. So, yun lang. I just want to show you guys what it looks like here. I'll post some pictures also of what they what it looked like nung pinost nila sa, uh, sa Facebook nila, which I shared also on my Facebook page, para din makita nyo what it's supposed to look like daytime. So, yun. So, balik tayo sa condo to wrap up the vlog, guys. But yeah, that's what it looks like here in Green Hills. That pretty much wraps up our vlog for today. We unboxed a couple of shoes. I cooked food. At tumingin tayo sa Green Hills. And that said, I hope you guys all had an amazing day. As usual, this is Carlo signing out. Peace, God bless, what's up? Boom.